<laughs> the stuff I get in the mail, a lot of it's conversion stuff. You can't believe it. I mean, for years now, they all want me to convert. To, to Every day is the same thing. Jesus can save you. Every day, 21 years about this. I don't like proselytizing. Then I get the thing about the uh, the contrails in the air. They send me page after page about Tesla's patents and jet streams so the country can be flooded while another is drought is given a drought. How do they believe this? World War Three Armageddon and why you must... God, man, it's hard, to, hard enough to sort out the world news, let alone this. Okay, what else is in the news? Let's see the questions for the day website. But whatever happened to the Middle East war that Obama was waging? That's off the headlines. Jake Tapper, they sent him for, well, they sent him for a retraining because you don't see him anymore. Where is he, on a little mini vacation? They're, they're massaging his brain somewhere in a CIA hotel? I've noticed the war is off the headlines. None of them not covering it. The minute the Russians started to have, have the ISIS on the run, and along with Assad's, uh, you know, right? Enemies in the Free Syrian Army. The minute that ISIS was knocked off the headlines, uh, beaten back a little bit, what happened? Jake Woodpecker stopped covering the, uh, the war. Suddenly Syria was no longer there. Nothing. You don't see a word about Syria. Nothing. Zero. Woodpecker won't even cover it now. No. Doesn't even happen. McCarthy accused of a fair on Wikipedia. Edits came from Homeland Security IP address. Wow. Oh. McCarthy out, Bain and Hintz are sticking around. But they, they do well. Even if he would drop out, if he would drop out of politics, he'd become a, go back to law, probably make a huge fortune. Who wouldn't want to be, have this guy as a law, as a lawyer now? Former almost speaker of, former congressman, uh, almost speaker of the House of Drunks. Like in England, they have the House of Lords. Here we have the House of Drunks under John Bay. <laughs> John... <laughs> yeah, I got you. God. Okay, KBOI, Mike. What do you think about this? thing that they did to McCarthy today. Yeah, the DHS deal is going to turn out like everything else this government throws at us. It'll be a low-level employee, and it gives them time. Oh, it'll be another lowest. It'll be another lowest learner. Exactly. Where is Lois Learner? I hear she's running a brazier shop in Queens, New York. Where is she? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, well, what you're going to say is eventually, oh, no, it didn't come from the head of DHS. It didn't come from one of the sorority girls. It didn't come from President Jarrett. No, it came from a low-level employee who did it on her own, right? Right. Wow. Oh, that's awful. What a country we're living in. This guy is melting us down so fast, like uh, an icicle in, 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 in August in Manhattan's Lower East Side without air conditioning. All right, my friend, I think you're intelligent enough to get a copy of Government Zero. It's not for everyone. Stay on the line. Uh, WVNN in Alabama. Mike, what are you calling about? You're open to a million people listening to you. What's on your mind? Okay, a couple of things, uh, Dr. Savage. One of them is that the, there's a book called The Muslim Mafia in relation to the Council on American Islamic Relations. And one of the things that they do, if you remember, Airman Stone was knifed by the Moroccans. And what they did was follow through on what they had done, what he attempted, and I think it's retribution. I think you may have nailed it. And also, the fact that you point out there were five of them, and the police are only saying there's two, is very interesting in itself. So also well, all you've got to do is, is go to my website where I've linked the video of him being attacked in the streets. And you see five or six of them in white undershirts attacking him like jackals. He's the one in the long white shirt. And the jackals are stabbing him and hitting him. He gets in a good blow and knocks one of the punks to the ground. Then they stab him in the chest, hitting his heart. So it's all on video. So we don't know who they were, though, Mike. That's the problem. We don't know who they were. That's the real problem. 855-400-7282 is the phone number. 855-400-7282. 855-400-SAVAGE. MichaelSavage.com, where I'm going to go right now, because I updated around the clock. I never sleep. I'm up in the middle of the night here. Top right, ISIS soldiers told to rape women to make them Muslim. What racist? Uh, who would put that up on my site? Oh, it came from CNN. I'm sorry. It's linked from that racist right-wing site, CNN. Anti-Muslim, huh? ISIS soldiers told to rape women to make them Muslim. CNN? Po I linked it from CNN, the new right-wing site. 
I can't believe that. Really? She says, today is the female sex slave market, which has been ordained, explains a skinny black haired jihadi gesturing at the camera. With Allah's permission, each will get a share, promises another of the ISIS murderers. Where is my Yazidi girl, asks the first, a wide grin splitting his straggly bearded face. The Yazidis are an ancient people, followers of a unique religion that blends elements of Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, with even more ancient practices, including sun worship. They believe in a single God who created the earth and left it in the care of a peacock angel, Malak Taus. But this belief is decried as the devil by ISIS. And it's been used by this Islamic group to justify murder, enslavement, and rape. They took our girls, our homes, and our families, says Yazidi spiritual leader Baba Sheikh. They took all of them. We say our fruitful generation is our children, but they took all young and old. I can't read it anymore. All I can say is God bless Vladimir Putin for doing what he's doing. I hope he kills all of them. I hope he kills every... La I hope that Russian special forces catch these guys and they torture them to death. Can you imagine this is going on and the UN says nothing? A UN, look, I'm, I'm mentioning UN. A bunch of ivory traders and, and grifters, UN. In ISIS territory, girls, Yazidi women can be bought and sold for money, bought it for weapons, even given as a gift. But this is not a simple commercial transaction. ISIS has made rape and slavery part and parcel of its brutal theology. ISIS fighters told us this is the rule of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, and we must do it, Noor explains. Anyone who doesn't convert to Islam, we will kill the males and marry the females. They are the spoils of war. This comes to us from the right-wing uh, the right wing site, the CNN. In its online English magazine, ISIS lays out its justification for its brutality against the Yazidis on religious grounds. Quote, enslaving the families of the Kufar and taking their women as concubines is a firmly established aspect of the Sharia Islamic law that if anyone were to deny or mock, he would be denying or mocking the verses of the Quran and the narrators of the prophet, narrations of the prophet. So you see all of you naive morons out there you see how wrong you are? You see how idiotic you are to oppose conservatives who see what's going on? Do you idiots not realize you're suicidal and are going to destroy this nation? And here it comes, though. But theologians the world over point out that ISIS actions have no basis in Islam. The people of ISIS don't represent Islam at all. In fact, if anything, they are anti-Islam, says London-based Imam Ajmal Masrur. They have hijacked Islam. They have denigrated Islam. They have desecrated it. In Islam, taking anyone as captive, mistreating them, using them as sex slaves, torturing them is totally prohibited. Well, why don't they do something about it? Why don't they say that uh, out loud? Well, I guess he just did. Anyway, you get the picture. What they're doing to the girls out there. The only one who's stopping them now is uh, the enemy of Obama, who's a friend of mine. I swear to God, I mean, Putin is, should be the, the, the friend of every individual on earth who respects women. How can you sit idly by and watch young girls being sold as sex slaves and not understand that only by killing them in ISIS can you stop this? I don't understand how you can say Obama's right and, and, and Putin is wrong. Obama's done nothing. He's impotent. He's impotent with regard to ISIS because he's looking the other way because he's an enabler of ISIS to those of us who believe so. Otherwise, he would have wiped them out a year ago. You know, they were against Assad, so an enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's what he learned that in the madrasas, I guess. I don't know where he learned that. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. He figured ISIS is the enemy of Assad, so I'll let them rage across the, uh, the, 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 the country, Syria. Is this too brutal for you? Those of you who are listening, is this too mind-bending to listen to this? Would you rather I just simply talk about Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Republican, Democrat, Constitution, uh, what do you want? I mean, how could you, how could you not want to read a story like this? ISIS soldiers told to rape women to make them Muslim. It's from the right wing site CNN, linked up on michaelsavage.com. That's very brave of CNN. They've gone farther than Fox News under Roger Ailes. Roger Ailes and Murdoch wouldn't even let them publish a story like this on Fox News. Do you know that? You think Martha Washington will report this? I doubt it. Martha's under strict house rules. Martha's the house feminist. She can only go so far before, uh, you know. All right, that's all I'm going to say on this subject. We have no upbreaking news. 
Oh, look at this caller. Daniel on KSFO. What are you saying about the leak against McCarthy? Yeah, uh, Dr. Savage, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I won't waste your time with that. But um, I wanted to point out, uh, you, you brought it up a couple of times. You've highlighted uh, the possibility that, that it's a, a liberal inside DHS that's doing these things. And I, I it just we've been afraid that McCarthy was going to take that seat. Well, I, well, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't say it was a liberal inside DHS. I said it was a DHS IP address. That's all we know. And, and I stand corrected. And, and from that perspective, I'll just point out that that I really hope that it's a lone wolf conservative inside DHS that did that. <laughs> That's funny. So you're saying it could have been a conservative wanting to take out McCarthy with the leak, right? I boy, I sure hope so. Yeah. Well, he is very liberal. I mean, a, a Republican from California is, uh, you know, it's an oxymoron. What does that mean, Republican from California? <laughs> I'm trying to that on my <laughs> How's that even possible in this corrupt banana republic? I mean, I should say this corrupt uh, rail railway republic. All right, Mike, stay on the line. I'm sending you a free copy of Government Zero. That brings us to 13 minutes to the hour. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O-I-N. All right, the big political story is that McCarthy has abruptly withdrawn his candidacy for House Speaker after he was smeared... Uh, on, on his own Wikipedia page, saying he was having an affair with a, another Republican, a woman in this case. And the IP address from where the smear came was inside the DHS, which is a, an alarming development under Bar Barry Obama, an alarming development under President Jarrett, to think that a DHS agent would smear a member of the oppos opposition party with impunity is unbelievable. And then there's the local story in California, which is national by now, which is the train hero, Spencer, who was stabbed by a gang of uh, Asians, and again I say that's an insult to Asian people everywhere in the world, and it's the only way we're going to get these uh, PC uh, controllers to stop it. Because as you know, in England and in the EU, the description Asian also applies to Middle Easterners in order to not offend uh, folks from that uh, region of the planet. So what are we supposed to do now, look for Asians in a Toyota? What does it mean by Asians? Can't you be a little more specific? No, the cops are frightened because the feminists have taken over everything. The lawyers have destroyed virtually every aspect of our lives where the police are afraid to do their jobs. They're afraid of saying a word. They're afraid of uh, attacking a perpetrator uh, until they're about to be killed themselves. The country's upside down. But you go to the Spencer Stone stabbing itself on surveillance video, which I linked up on michaelsavage.com, and you look at it after the show. You will see a gang of six rats in white T-shirts attacking a tall man, a white man, in a white shirt. He knocks one of the vermin to the ground, and the rest attack him like jackals, and then they run away. We don't know who they are. Be on the lookout for men in white T-shirts. Asians? That's crazy. If I were a Chinese man in a Toyota, I'd be worried. But we know it wasn't a Chinese man in a Toyota who did it. But then again, the police are bound and constrained because they've been controlled by the very forces that have turned this state into a one-party dictatorship.